What is up YouTube? Calvin here from My95 Muscle. This video is going to be a little bit different today. We're going to start inside the car. There's a couple things I want to show you. Um, this is a 2019 Mazda CX-5 SUV. It is black. Not that you can tell that from in here. But uh, this thing is loaded down with all kinds of cool options. Um, it is an automatic. It's a uh, black leather interior. So really classy looking nice leather interior we got a sunroof and we will go outside and check this thing out in the daylight but the thing i wanted to show you inside is you can see my headlights there on the wall and obviously it's got hids projector beam headlights and all that but uh it has adapted front lighting so if i turn my wheel to the right the headlights actually turn I turn to the left it's really hard to tell it looks like it's moving with the vehicle but the headlights actually turn let me see if I can back it up a little bit and let me show you so I'm turn I'm driving and I turn the wheel and you see the headlight turned pretty cool so this thing's loaded down with quite a bit of technology options but let's go outside and check this thing out All right, so, oh, let's turn that down before I get uh, YouTube striked. All right, so we have 82,443 miles on this puppy. I had the pleasure of driving this thing for a few days. It was actually a pleasure to drive. Um, got pretty good gas mileage, and uh, it's in kilometers an hour. Hit that little button, it becomes 80 uh, miles per hour. So that's cool. Um, it does have like adaptive cruise control, which gives you the ability to set cruise and set your distance from the car in front of you. It'll automatically, all right, let's put the seatbelt on. It will automatically cruise behind the car in front of you. So if your cruise control is set to 80 miles an hour on the freeway, and the car in front of you is doing 76, you will actually slow down to 76 and maintain a safe distance behind that vehicle while you're cruising on the freeway. If they get off the freeway or merge over or something and you continue on without them, it will actually continue back up to 80 miles an hour. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you do have Bluetooth, obviously. We got your AC controls. Looks like that's the power button. It was wore off a little bit. I was trying to figure out what that was. We can turn it on auto. I'm gonna turn the fan down though. We got heated seats. Does have a little navigation screen up here with your infotainment system being controlled by this little knob here. So you can actually go through uh, new destination, points of interest, all that jazz. Uh, we do have electronic parking brake. So that's cool. You pull it up to set it. Now it's set, we won't go nowhere. Oh, it's auto release though, so that's cool. So you're not gonna accidentally drive around with your e-brake on. Um, power windows, power mirrors. Let's do it once around and look in the back and stuff, maybe under the hood real quick. Power lift gate. Oh, maybe we have to unlock it. There we go. Okay, power lift gate. Nice black leather interior back here too. And let's go ahead and put this window down so I don't lock myself out. It's a pretty good looking SUV though. Like I haven't really looked into Mazdas too much here in the last couple years, but this one's pretty nice. And like I said, I had the pleasure of driving it for a couple days. Absolutely loved it. The AC was super ice cold, which is like a huge selling point for me. I don't know if you know or if my reflections ever told on me, but I'm kind of chubby. So, under here you got your spare. It does have a Bose stereo. Um, I think your subwoofer's back there. You do have the ability to fold down your seats from up here. There's your middle one. There's your left one. There's your right one. Pretty cool. You can store a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then we do also have your little, put your back, door down button 
Let's fold these back up. You do have a cup holder, a center console with charging ports back here, so that's cool. You got kids in the back, you just plug in their little devices for your long road trips. Fun stuff, that works out great, ask me how I know. Bose system, like I said. Let's check out under this hood real quick. go one-handed operation not the easiest but it worked sky active technology if you know what that means please comment below tell me I'm sure I could google it it's probably like it's probably like Mazda's version of VTech or something that's what I would imagine proximity key so you never have to pull the key out of your pocket you have the key in your pocket which I have right here you have the key in your pocket you just walk up you hit the button that opens the door Push button start, starts the car. And let's see, we got a home link mirror. Don't look at me. <laughs> All right, so the home link mirror, I don't know why it's not gonna focus. It's focusing on everything but that. Come on. Home link mirror, so you can program your garage doors. And then you can turn on and off your auto dimming rear view mirror. I mean, that, that AC has to be. 45 degrees feels great um, and there we are with the seat belt chime again that's actually kind of funny I don't know that my wife would laugh but this morning headed to work I got a seat belt ticket so let this video be the lesson or the reminder that you should always buckle up when you're driving even in a closed driving space And it wasn't cheap, it was expensive. But most importantly, it was my fault and I deserved it. So, that's gonna pretty much conclude the walk around, drive, test drive, virtual test drive of this here Mazda. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, give us a follow on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, the tweeter, and if you're looking for an affordable SUV that gets good gas mileage, that's got all the options, and you don't want to break the bank, but you want a little class and style, this is probably what you need. Oh. I almost tripped. Don't laugh. Thanks for watching, guys.